What's up guys, Zio here, and I know in this tutorial I was supposed to show you guys how to do fire hack V2, however I feel like it was easier, well it will be easier to use it with keybinds, so I'm going to show you how to do hotkey slash keybinds, whatever you want to call it, okay, so the first thing you need to do is get a uh, NuGet package, and it's going to be called input simulator, it's going to be the first one, install that, click OK, and then you're gonna type in um, using window. I can't type Windows input using Windows input dot native. I spelled Windows wrong, bro. How? Oh. Okay. Uh, and you're gonna type in input simulator. Um, I'm gonna name mine key. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna name key and then do input simulator. Okay, cool. Now that we have that, we're gonna need a timer. Uh, let's get rid of this. Make a new one. Okay, so we're gonna change our timer to 50. Now, 50 can't be insensitive if you have a bad PC. Uh, I did 50 because I have a decent PC, and whenever you do keybinds, you want it to be kind of responsive. Um, so 50 milliseconds is responsive enough for me. However, if it's you know making your PC lag, I will change it. Um, we're not going to have it enabled the whole time. We're going to have a checkbox that's going to enable it for us. That way, you know, if you don't want to use uh, keybinds, then you don't have to. So we're going to type in checkbox, that checkbox here. And we're going to name it to enable hotkeys. Okay. Inside this, we're going to say if checkbox I've not checked um, is true. Timer two dot start. And then else timer two dot stop. Okay, once you do that. Uh so essentially whenever you run a program, this one's always gonna be on for the XYZ whatever. However, this one is going to be enabled whenever you click the enable, obviously, and when you untick it, it's going to disable itself. That way, we don't have something that's going to be like intensive on our CPU and GPU, whatever. So, now that we have that, we need to go ahead and go inside the timer, and we need to set up the key binds. So, we can do variable. So, var, um, what's the name? No clip, equals key dot. Input simulator or input device state <clears throat> dot is key down. So key down is whenever the key is pressed. And you want to say um, virtual key code. Virtual key is just you know um, a non-physical key. And right here you see all the options right here, which is every button there is. I'm just gonna do F1. And then for this one, I'm going to do F2, and I'm going to name it, uh, I guess we're going to do infinite ammo, so I'm just going to name it not. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to say um, if no clip. And say if checkbox, what number was it? Checkbox six. If checkbox six dot checked, the hell? Checkbox six dot check equals false. Okay. So essentially whenever this button's pressed, it's going to um, check if the checkbox is checked and if it's already checked, it's gonna make it false. However, if it's not checked, it's gonna say else. 
um, checkbox six dot checked equals true. Let me explain it a little bit better since it's all written out now. Okay, so when um, this is enabled, the timing, aka this is clicked, um, it's going to allow this to be ran. So once this is ran, it's going to say if F1 is pressed, um, it's going to run this code right here. Sorry. Um, once this code is ran, it's going to say it's going to look for a checkbox six checked. So if it's already checked, it's going to uncheck it. If it's not checked, it's going to check it, therefore enabling this right here. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so then we're going to say um, else if um, not, sorry. And we're going to say um, brackets open. We're going to say if checkbox. What number was it? So box three. I checked. Check box three dot checked equals false. And then the same thing for this part. Checkbox three dot checked equals true. Okay, so that should work. Start to the side. So F one's pressed. Oh, my bad. I'm pressing enable it. So F one's pressed. Now the clip is enabled. And if F two is pressed, I have infinite ammo. What's up?